Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of many. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Well, the celebrities are out. The floor seats are packed because the notorious one, Conor McGregor, makes his triumphant return here tonight. There's always a special feel when a UFC main event is about to unfold, but Conor McGregor just takes it to that requisite next level. J.A., as a fan, I usually sit right next to the octagon, but when Conor fights, I gotta be in the first row <laughs> behind the barrier because the celebrities are out in droves. Conor McGregor has this thing about him that makes everybody want to show up. They flock to Vegas, they come in groups, they want to experience the notorious Conor McGregor. They want to see if he can have one of those special moments, him atop the cage, him knocking right. out Jose Aldo. If you experience the McGregor experience, you always have a story to tell, and that's why people show up. He's going to cash the check tonight, right? But he's not here for just money, no, right? It's this not. is about proving himself trying to improve his mixed martial arts legacy. He won two titles, no title defenses. That's a big part of the motivation He for takes Conor. a lot of pride in the preparation to getting to the octagon, and you see it every time Conor McGregor fights. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. If you're the first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Pantera! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting! Out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor. All right, commit to the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners. Back your Strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground. They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Caught the kick. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Massive knee lands from the side punch. Oh, 
really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Checks that leg kick. Nice connection on the counter punch there, and oftentimes, DC, it can be easier to be a counter striker when you have such a pronounced edge in reach. Oh, he might be out. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, man, don't be afraid to raise the guard as another head kick lands. One more here, DC, and we could be having a referee coming in waving. Soon. Waving it off. It could be over in an instant if you do not block head kicks. What a phenomenal job by the offensive fighter setting it up and then throwing that head kick over the top. Nice job setting it up. Good job landing, great offense. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. McGregor's kick to the body. That one blocked by the defense. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Lance flush with that right hand. Real nice body kick, Lance. Got to the clinch, controlled the posture, and Lance some big knees from the close. Very nice leg kick for him there. Can't take too many of those. Oh, Lance a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, good knees here, DC. If you're on the wrong end of those knees, what are you what are you doing to adjust? I mean, you gotta be getting out of those positions where he's kneeing you. You gotta be keeping those hands a little bit low to protect the body. You gotta just really, truly be working the entire time you guys are in close. And they separate. Spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. Single collar tie now. Punch over the top. Beautiful hit. Big kick land. Oh, right left combo by McGregor. Oh, single collar tie here. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Look at him drive the shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. And he landed the right hand there. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure enough lands. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Single collar tie here. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Right punches there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. 15 seconds. McGregor gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. All right, so a huge round for him there. His opponent will need Motrin tomorrow. Huh. A lot of head kicks in that previous five minutes. He took way too many head kicks. He was trying to go forward. He was trying to pressure, and when he was doing that, he was carrying his hands low, and his opponent was just wrapping that kick up and over the side of his guard. Credit to his opponent for finding this shot, but really bad on him for not really making the adjustment to stop it. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg has so much power. 
that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Oh, looked like that left hand found the target. Found the target as it has on so many occasions tonight. Oh, nice jab. Oh, McGregor's head kick looked like that one was blocked. Oh, beautiful counter jab upstairs for him there. He's got the reach advantage, and that certainly helped him in that exchange. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He landed that strike very effectively. And they separate. Oh, how good is that right hand? McGregor going with the kick to the body, but unable to find the range. Nice. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Oh, he's unable to find the target with that uppercut. Big kick. He landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. All right, single collar tie now. Big punch land. Ooh. Well, he has stayed busy, and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate. A lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal tonight. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And they separate. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Boy, Ty Plump. Oh, nice. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to make it look like it did stun him a little bit. Jews hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, massive knee to the head. Oh! Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Big ball from Clutch Land. Now he gets back to range. Gregor's kick attempt there, blocked. Overhand lands. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Lands the right hand. He gets to his spot, the tie clincher. Then he starts to let the knees block. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there, nasty. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. And there comes the separation now. What a punch. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Gotta be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't wanna eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by McGregor. 15 seconds. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Slips. 
Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time to pull it. That was the right time. All right, let us now get you some replays from that previous round. Big part of the narrative, of course, those devastating kicks to the body. Yeah, he's in the right stance to throw that kick to the body. Then you see now his opponent starting to carry his hands really low. Look for him to go over the top. Now that he's got, a, he's got him set up the way he wants to. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are gonna really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight idea. Beautiful right punch, follows it up with the left. Oh, and there's a kick now to the body. That one blocked by McGregor. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Big leg kick lands. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Right hand on point. Not there. Oh, McGregor's kick, that one blocked. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Slips the punch. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active. Series of strikes for They're staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, liver kick! Well, he's up, but he is hoping for certain the finish could come at any time. Nice leg kick lands. He's in a good flow right now. He's landing big shots to the body. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter. Take the judges out of it. Whoa! And just like that, the fight is over. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 13 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the notorious Connor McGregor! Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus.